is Kredeja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode three of Dance Dance the Service. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. He's here. So fucking cute. Oh my god. I know you guys. It's a pretty name. Pretty name for a pretty boy. But it's cute. you ass <laughs> oh, but he has. Mm. 
god damn, will you just leave him alone? Of course. <laughs> well, her his sister popped up, so I'm guessing something happened to his sister. Oh god, I hope she didn't die. It's pretty. I get that, but you technically... <sighs> no. She's pissed at you. Mm. 
The fact that even her mom won't acknowledge you. Does she really have to answer you? Not really. So why don't you kind of get to know him? Don't be an ass. Mm. No, this was, it's what it means to be an asshole. No, you're being a dick. No.
is so fucked up. There you go, Junpei. Be smart. Stop it. Very good music. Oh, he's so pretty. did so good. Fuck you. No, it's the truth. Mm hmm Well, fuck you then.
Well, fuck all y'all. just slicked it down with mousse or something. Oh my god. Okay, one, I hated the fact that, you know, Junpei's friends were bullying Leo. I mean, he's such a precious baby boy and I love him so much. So yes, fuck them because they're little shits and assholes. So fuck them. But the fact is that, you know, Junpei finally, because the biggest thing was leading into last week's episode going into this week's was how in the world was he going to balance still being in the soccer club, starting a band with his friend possibly, and do ballet all at the same time? Sometimes you can multitask. Believe me, I, I'm currently doing it now with watching several different animes and making reactions for that, then stuff for Patreons, and then also working. And it is hard. I cannot imagine if someone was doing like a 12-hour job and not being able to come home until the next day and then busy with a whole bunch of other shit, you know. But I am glad that Junpei finally told his friends and confronted his friends about it and such. Even though they responded in a way that is natural and not a way that I really would have wanted them to pro to convey in Junpei's feelings. But I think, you know, maybe some of them will eventually come around. I think it'll just take some time. We probably won't see him, like, associate with them for the rest of the series until, like, a certain point, And that's okay. I'm fine with that. But... God, that hurts. <laughs> Honestly, he looks so good with his hair like that. I, I mean, I love it. It's different. It's a new look. And I think it really suits him fucking brilliant and well. I mean, but this is just a new start. This is a gym, uh, a different doom, Junpei, but still at the same time the same person because he's now going on a different path. And hopefully this is going to be really good for him. I, I mean, like, seriously. I hope him and Leo are able to get along. And so I really want Leo to kind of confine in Junpei, um, especially because of the fact is, like, I'm mean, from what we're guessing, his mom, his mom had to pass away or something. And so because since he has nothing but ballet, and such, and I'm guessing this isn't the first time where he got bullied on that situation with his mom and such. There had to be more in the past that we didn't get to see, unfortunately. Thank God, though. But I think, you know, Leo is going to have to confine into Junpei, especially with certain things. For him to learn um, Japanese and everything else to be able to communicate because he can't read certain things. Junpei and uh, what's her face, they can. So I hope there is, like... I'll help you on this if you help me on this. You know, kind of like a um, a tit for tat or like a little deal in the making between them. Like uh, like a benefit, you know, like, hey, I'm going to help you do this and what I benefit from, you know, what you get from me benefits with this and such. So hopefully that does happen soon. I mean, this was a very interesting episode. Still sad with the bullying thing, because I always hate bullying type episodes, and they're like, they're not the worst, but when you think about certain things, and then you remember your own bullying and shit, you're just like a big old fuck you. Like, mm. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode three of Dance Dance Sister. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the match squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode four. Bye, guys.